Hello, hello, hello. So I decided this morning just to quickly drop in and do this lesson, mainly because, um, you know, I, it's something I've been working on for quite a while. You know, like when you have these things that sort of sit in the back of your mind and you just never really do something about it. And you maybe start it, but then, then you don't actually uh, get to finish it. But it's something that kind of sits in the back of your mind and, it's, and, and that you're working on, right? So I actually, I decided to create this. Um, well, I didn't create this. What I was, I was inspired um, by by a gentleman called Roger Hamilton. He had he had once shown me many years. I've been a follower of his for many many years, and he he explains the same sort of thing, but. Um, but for, for business and how you should be actually thinking about and building your business and coaches people um, to, to um, think about building their business in this way. And I thought about duplicating that same thing because I thought, hey, you know, many people often ask me, um, you know, what's the difference between a website? How can I have a, an, an, a landing page? How can I have a, a, a website that actually, what, what's the right type of, exposure that I need for my website because now if I'm building um, this brand or that brand or this business and they're kind of separate how can I do I need to have everything the, the social media the the actual websites and all these things but you know a lot of this um, the it gets confusing you know because now you maybe just started a little e-commerce brand and all of a sudden you need to, um, just because you've started this e-commerce brand, now you need to have all the social media. It just doesn't work, right? Because it's actually just a side game. So how can you, so what I started to come up with is a thing called the digital triad. This is going to be a very short video. Just to give you an idea, and as I build it and as I come into fruition, as it starts to come into fruition, I'd love for your feedback um, because I'll, I'll give you, I'll just let you know exactly um, where I'm at with it. Um, so the digital triad is literally about these sort of three steps that these three components to building a strong brand online, to building a strong brand for your business, and then also being able to roll off new other projects, brands, um, you know, sub brands within whatever you're creating um, that that may or may not be associated directly to like your main business, if that makes sense. So, because a lot of people, I mean, we have a lot of interest. Myself, um, I've got a, as a, as an ex sportsman, I have a massive interest in judo. Um, I, I I mean, like that consumes. If I have any moment to consume judo, I will. Um, and uh, the, I also enjoy Manchester United football, so I, I, I don't have time to watch everybody else. So I only watch Manchester United whenever they play. And if I could ever share content or ever even sell content that has to do with judo or um, Manchester United, I would, right? Um, I do sell judo stuff. So many people like equipment and things like that. So people uh, actually in that community, they know me well for being a a seller and manufacturer of my own judo equipment. Um, sometimes even I sell to the jiu-jitsu community. So um, in that world, I'm well known, right? But how does one be able to sort of merge these, um, grow your following? Because these people have different interests. They might be interested in my marketing business, which is actually my bread and butter. So I have a marketing business that I run and then out of my marketing business, I've got my personal self that has number of interests. And then from that number of interests that I have, I have different brands that would form in line with my interests, right? So it's really about being able to build, it's about being able to build a new brand, being able to sell possibly to the same people and still maintain their interests in that specific thing that they're interested in at that moment in time. So later on today, I think later on this afternoon or even during during the course of next week, there's going to be various posts that we're going to do. They primarily come from um, 
um, uh, awesome guru. I keep forgetting his name though. Uh, yeah, and and you'll see. <laughs> Anyways, so so he's awesome, and he really talks a lot about how to sort of target people. Um, and and really, you want to target, and you might be targeting the same person because the Marlin, for example, that is out there doing business, is different to that Marlin when he's wearing his um, his kit, his judo kit. And he's got a different mindset at that moment in time. Um, it's different to the Marlin that is meditating in the morning, right? So the idea is about being able to catch me at that specific time and giving me the right message so that I can connect with you. So these are the things uh, I'm going to share with you pretty quickly. I hope I've given a good enough synopsis. You know, please feel free to drop a message and let me know if this makes sense, if this is of value to you so that you could actually use this. Um, because if it's not practical, then, you know, what's the point? So the idea is you want to be able, I mean, like just like a surfer, right? A surfer goes out on a surf. They go out on a board, right? You, what you want to do is you want to be able to go out on your own, your, what is your surfboard that you're using to surf the waves of change in business, in your, in, in your, in your business? How are you doing that? And this is what I'm suggesting you do. So this is only two slides long. <laughs> but it's really about being able to build that personal brand, that product brand, and that company brand. And now I'm going to just take a couple of seconds just to explain each one. And I'll close off and I'll continue this lesson at a different stage when we can actually, when, when I, when as I've started to build it, because parts of it are built. Now, um, from a personal standpoint, so from a, from a company brand, your company brand is what gives you credibility. That in my case is focal shift communications. Um, you, you create a company brand that has your, I mean, that's your entity. That's, that's, that's your actual credibility. It's got a bank account. It's got the things that, that is a tangible entity for the world to see, okay? Then you have your, your personal brand, which is me, Marlon August, Marlon August Takasu. It's, it's, it's I am that personal brand, but Marlon August um, has a numerous amount of interests, right? So, but I don't sell from, I, I'll get into the, uh, I'll get back into that whole sell thing um, in another video, but for now, that personal brand really, it, it communicates directly to the individual. And it's about being able to create, so you need a company website, right? Let me just, sorry, let me just go back one second. You need to be able to have your company website. In my case, it's focusshift.co.za. That's my company website. That's the type of um, environment where that builds my credibility. People will go there to, if they want to connect with my business. They will be invoiced from Focusshift. I have a personal brand. My personal brand is Marlon Augustakasu. I speak under that brand. I, I I connect with people personally because it's it's me who sells. It's not the 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 you know they connect to me, but the business is what invoices them, right? So I would be able to talk about my various things that I have interest in within that space. Um, you try not to confuse the market too much, but at the end of the day, if you if you're really human, which is really what I'm trying to do in in that space um, in terms of my blog, which is Marlon August or Marlon Marlon you go there, and it's really stuff about everything I've got interested: personal development, business, um, mindset. Um, I'm interested in judo, so you're going to see that type of content in my space, right? Um, I also love high achievers, things like that, and anything to do with marketing. So that's what the personal brand will do. This is what I'm suggesting you do. You really just sort of look at the things you have interested in and start blogging content, things like that. What's going to, as a personal brand, um, really looking at it, especially someone who knows that I need to get out into the world, so I need to connect with people, I need to do keynotes and things like that, I will use that, that, that website or that brand space to actually have a media kit on there and things like that so people can connect directly with me. Even if they connect directly with me, they're going to be connecting through my business. So just having that line, right? And the next thing is 
actually your product brands. In my case, it's digital authority. Digital authority is is that is a um, e-commerce slash learning website where people can go to get more information and learn about marketing mindset and all those other things I'm interested in, right? Um, and, and that will actually give them value so that they can so that they can build a profitable business online. The idea is for so so if if you see that little triad and you start building your your digital ecosystem like that, there is definitely a massive way that you could learn, grow, and um, build a proper thing. Now, essentially, what the difference is, going back to my first thing that I spoke about in, in terms of a website, is that you're going to have your, 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 company, your company brand can be, it can be an extensive website. This is like that five-page boring stuff. Um, honestly, I suggest creating um, targeted content in each, where you're talking about each product, you really, you, and you're selling each product and service that you do quite well. So I'm still suggesting be very landing, build the landing page in your website, so it's a bit of work. Um, then creating more of a blog in your personal brand. And then whatever you want to create in your product brands can literally only be landing pages because they're probably going to extend off of your company brand anyways, even if they are branded differently. So I hope this makes sense, guys. Thank you for joining if you did. Um, this is – I would love to know what you think about this content. I would love to know if this makes sense to you. Um, and obviously it's a bit of work that one would have to do. Um, but you'd be able to create this great web of content. And what I'll talk about more in the next session is how you can use your personal brand and how you should be selling and where you should be selling. Because I have an opinion on, on that, which also came from Roger Hamilton. So, yeah, I just want to give a huge shout-out to that guy because he's got some awesome content and great teacher and really gave me a lot of insight into this. And when I started looking at the digital components of this and what it would look like. This is how I, I decided to duplicate it. So thank you very much, guys. Have an awesome day. An awesome Friday, by the way.